Lucas walks into a room and he is just the light of the space. He had been acting not like himself for a few weeks. None of the symptoms seemed to be working together. We didn't know what it was. And the doctors couldn't really figure anything out either. He had elevated white count and we were ambulance to Lurie. Lucas was diagnosed with leukemia at 10 months. He did experience a lot of in-home care and then he did have frequent, you know, at least monthly trips to the hospital to get chemo and spinal taps. After a month of being done with his two years of treatment, he had rung the bell, yeah. celebrated his journey, and uh, he relapsed. About six months out from completing his second two years of leukemia treatment, he got a cold that progressed and high fevers and then RSV, and then come to find out now he's in heart failure. There was a time where we almost lost Lucas. He ended up having to get a pacemaker and ICD unit put in, it was just open heart surgery. They don't know exactly what caused his heart he failure, still to this day. He has been listed to receive a new heart, but now due to some complications with his lungs, he's no longer active to receive a new heart. Trying to figure out a way to continue life and do it well amidst not having normalcy. Our normal is hospital life. It's yeah. working around, you know, when Lucas is well and when he's not. Lucas is so much fun. From the moment I first met him, I knew that this was going to be a student that I learned just as much from as he learns from me. There are some people that Lucas feels very comfortable with. Teacher Katie is one of those people. The more you said, how much doubles I had? Don't tell me you have even more doubles. I do. Get out! Here in the hospital, it might be hard to get excited about school when they're facing an illness and all these other stressors. To me, it's not only that academic piece, making sure that their grades are staying up, making sure they're on track, but really, how can we get them inspired? How can we get these students to still want to learn and be excited about all the amazing learning opportunities there are in this world? That was one of, honestly, the turning points is starting this relationship where he could realize, oh, there's people here that I can trust. And that was a beautiful thing. He's not bored. You know, he's learning. His life is actually being enriched. Yeah. Music therapy, he loves that. And they let him keep the instruments in the rooms. They can be doing their schoolwork. They can be making art projects, making music. They can come down here and play bingo. So many different engaging activities for not just the patient themselves, but the family too, which I think is the most important part, remembering the parents and the siblings and making sure that their stay here is a good one as well. I know that even though he has had to live indoors, hasn't had a breath of fresh air in six months, he is a better kid because of his time here in the hospital, because yeah. of the outpouring of the volunteers, the outpouring of the services. It's humbling, it's, and we're very grateful. We've been here now for over six months, and we're okay. And I think it's because we've been able to tap into all of the resources that Lurie Children's makes readily available.